All right, we're going to take a quick look at Reddit. And I just got to say, I'm never going to get Annihilators. I've been doing everything and I can collect and open as many of these orbs as possible for the past 30 days. I'm still 27 charged short of unlocking any of the Annihilators. This feels bad and it's very frustrating. I've gotten so many useless Silver Surfer shards that he is now maxed. I don't see any end to this. Thank you for making such a great experience as random RNG to determine who gets the characters. I think this is atrocious, this orb system. I think it's garbage. I feel like it only benefits the players that were willing to buy the Annihilators out of the gate. They have drastically delayed the actual event for Gladiator until tomorrow. It's almost 28 days, like four weeks since the initial offers. It's kind of ridiculous. Now, they are saying that people are getting more shards with this system, but I'm telling you this, it still creates some randomness. Some people have this, some people have this, some people got 100 drops, some people didn't. And there's just way too much variance in this orb system with the arena. Not a fan at all. You're killing me, Scopely. I'm a 2076 day player, 74 million rank top 100 in my arena every day. Spend a little, maybe $20 every month. I log in seven hours a day. 126 Gladiator Annihilator Orbs. 100 Gore Annihilator Orbs open, which also contain Gladiator. If you're lucky. I don't need Silver Surfer Shards. I still don't have Gladiator. Feels bad. It's going to have taken me this long to unlock. He's just going to be three stars. I wasn't going to mention it, but I'm uh, 32 on, out of 100 on Thanos. Been coring Orb when I can. So, this is just not a good system. I'm going to say that... Um, Every day I log into Reddit and there are multiple posts about this. So this has been a very consistent sore spot for the community. Now, the only good thing that I can say is that they are giving significantly more power cores inside of arena a lot more and I'm starting to stockpile them, right? 15,000. There's a lot of reasons why that's happened. I'm, I'm going to think, and I'm going to say that going forward, um, there's going to have to be a way for myself, uh, to be more deliberate about coring characters. If this stockpile is going to continue. And there's a lot of reasons why this happened. A lot of it had to do with an offer I bought with dark dimension seven and buying battle passes does give me a lot of cores, but that's the only good thing I can say is that at least they're giving more power cores. Now. I'm going to talk about this login streak and I'm going to, we're going to talk about what I do like about it. What I do not like about it. Um, and I'm going to share this person's frustrations right here. Login string and scopely support equal jacked left the game on overnight on blue stacks. And when I played the next day, it was still running. So I did my dailies and raids, but it gave me a daily calendar rewards, but it did not count my login. So it broke my login streak, which is super annoying. And, and the reason why I know that it's super annoying is because this happens to me all the time in the test server. And there are so many things tied to the login streak that it makes the game torturous to play without it, specifically in raids. The bigger problem is when I try to lodge the complaint via customer support, which is all AI fueled. I mean, they the company that gave them the AI, you know, when the game first came out five, six years ago was bragging about how they sold Marvel Strike Force AI chat so that that Scopely didn't have to use real people on most of the tickets. I noticed how Scopely has now made it virtually impossible to start a chat with supporting game. It's one big gloop to collect data, stick it in a digital pile, and they'll get to when they get to it and close a ticket. And I've also suspect, and I think this is true, that spenders are funneled into a better experience. I really think that uh, I feel like that is the way the game works and and maybe it should work that way. I don't know. Marvel Strike Force is way too inconsistent in performance for this to be accessible. I'm willing to bet they've actually cut support staff to buy despite all the bugs we encounter in this game. I think they have. I'm stuck without being able to sim raids. That's exactly the pro that's the big problem right there. And I don't have time for this bullshit. Spend enough time uh, spend enough in this game to buy a Tesla. I can't even get proper support. Well, if you spent 
you know, 30 grand on the game. I mean, maybe, maybe they've really screwed support. I haven't had the need to contact support in about a year. And in general, I had okay responses to that. Now, the the top post on this is, well, they did give us a free login streak token and a milestone, which you claim anytime within a four week period. I, that is true, but I've been largely unhappy with that because for, so this, this red dot right here to me means there's something I need to go into the milestones and collect. And you can see that right here, for example, not a big deal. You know, but I get something there, you know, and some of the rewards in here are very important. Like, you know, if I get, you know, this to pop up, you know, I want to see the red dot and I want to collect that as soon as possible. So the problem with the way that they set this up is that, yes, this resets every 28 days and then you get the check mark. But not only does the red dot not go away if you do not claim this, like their expectation was for us to not claim this. Well, there was two reasons why I claimed this. One, I thought I might get some use out of this gold orb because at the time I needed gold. Premium orb was whatever. I, I mean, this is not a big deal, but mostly I wanted the red dot go away. And uh, I would be, my preference would be to not put this here, but to put it in somewhere into the menu up here. And then it just let it sit here and it says, uh, good for 28 days or as a countdown timer, but they should put it out of the way uh, Put it up here in the menu somewhere and so that it's the temptation to collect it just to clear the red dot is removed and Maybe you want those rewards now rather than waiting 17 days and also it kind of feels bad if you forget to collect it Right, we just have it just sitting there waiting for you know exactly this type of situation where I'm pretty sure this person just collected it like I did saying I'm never gonna need this because they play every day because that's what I said I've been playing the game every day since a million years or five six years now and but yet if I did this I would still be screwed okay raid season rewards are horrible pointless now bring back diamonds and character something I got more rewards in raids two three days and then two weeks wait for the raids so a couple things uh, yesterday there was a lot of confusion on season payouts and the season payouts did not match the leaderboards like you would get your payout and then you go to the leaderboard and say hey why is this much lower they actually doubled the rewards on most areas from the last season to this season which is every two weeks so the rewards were correct and they are better so like this last two weeks is going to be the worst that it's going to be and then going forward it's going to be doubled but i agree with this post absolutely bring back diamonds for characters something i felt like that was a lot of fun now i'm gonna have an unpopular opinion on this right here but i've seen this many many times and i wanted to read and acknowledge that certain people feel this way and i have a different opinion that is the opposite of this shatter dimension rewards even though the repeating node rewards for Shadow Dunes is a mistake. It was the Scopely should consider implementing the Dark Dimension as well. Give us a reason to farm these areas of the game. It'll engage the player base more and increase screen time. I don't know if engage is the right word, and I'm going to come back to that. Not to mention help mid-game players of farming gear. Yes, I think this is all true. Characters will reset the cooldowns, daily reset them, all of them so they can't be abused. They can do away the challenges and fold them into Dark Dimension rewards. So... Shatter Dimension, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a lot of extra rewards, it's a mistake, that's fine. But literally, for me last night, it was one of the most tortuous things to do to sit there, waste my battery on auto. I have no interest in doing that at any point in time in any game. That is not a game where you just load into battles, look at the loading screen, hit the auto button, and then go find something else to do. I hate it. Maybe you like it, but that's not a video game that I want to play. I'm in the opinion that if Marvel Strike Force, if Scopely builds game modes that are fun and engaging and that require thinking, the game will thrive. People will play it. I remember when Overwatch came out a million years ago, playing it to six in the morning. Why? It was fun. If they make the game fun, 
people are not going to be hyper obsessed about rewards and simming things and and it's this is as bad as blitz to me go most of it is just looking at the loading screen waiting for the loading screen to get up then pressing the auto button and let it sit there and some people said they were able to do it in 26 minutes well that's 26 minutes of wasted gameplay yes i like the rewards the rewards are fantastic i'm gonna but i shouldn't be compelled to waste 26 minutes of my life not even playing the game just pressing auto i hate that stuff and 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 it took more than 26 minutes it probably took me about 40 minutes i love rewards it's fine but let, please, please, please tell Scopely to make an actual game. Not fucking Blitz. That's garbage. Pressing auto is garbage. Take the time to understand the game and make meaningful gameplay and this game will thrive. Holy shit. Who's better, DD7 fifth? Hey, Peter B, Noir, Penny, and Robbie. Who should be the fifth lizard or vulture? Vulture. Vulture, 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 vulture. We need a war star update. Yeah, 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 we do. I was looking through the stores and just happened to notice how bad the war store is. Only two rows of T gear and low quantities of well. As an in-game player, I find myself not even scrolling through the store since it's next to never has anything I need. And it's mostly the quantities. I think they could boost the quantities of gear and it'd be meaningful. It's just not, you know, getting 10 of an origin piece when you really need like 100 is just not great. I think being... Nice for a few more rows of teal gear and in higher quantities as well. I agree. I understand you think this is even a big scope ask. I actually feel like this is completely reasonable. Also, uh, worth mentioning, I don't do offer review because rarely do I find that there's offers worth purchasing. I feel like most of the good value in this game now is tied up in battle passes. Um, but occasionally there's an offer and this is not the best offer. And also this strike store is still somewhat uneventful to me. But anyways, this is a 30 day offer, 20 gladiator shards, a little bit of gold, a little bit of power cords, a little bit of training materials. I mean, I feel like if they had more offers like this, I'd be more inclined even to do offer review more often. Then this was an excellent question. Midnight 52, do you know, do we know if there is anywhere else Ares ultimate awaken ability will be other than offers and whether right now if you want where where is it do they move it it was it's $35 I had it loaded oh I see we have to go back over here it's this one the Ares one is $35 and it comes with the passive and the passive is important because uh, there it is right there there it is right there $35 I'm in the way but it's $35 and the passive is the one that kind of matters right now because it uh, prevents um, safeguard on spawn the same way that Apocalypse does. And I could have used that today inside of Cosmic Crucible. Um, I could have used Ares instead of Apocalypse against um, uh, an Annihilator's a Gladiator because Gladiator spawns with safeguard and he is super thick. Oh my God. And it would have been super convenient to have this awakened ability. So this one will be available for free however <laughs> it's going to take a while and the passive is the one that matters the most because it gives um this you know prevent safeguard on spawn can be obtained for free over the course of seasons one through five of the standard pass so we are in season three season five you know they happen every two weeks i guess that's more than a month away so if you want to spend $35 to have it now rather than waiting a month, then that's what you could do. And the problem with this situation is I do need it now against Annihilators and Cosmic Crucible. It would be a nice passive to have. I, I, there's been several situations where I thought that having that awakened passive be useful. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on gaming. Bye for now.